Good afternoon, everybody. And this is great. Jamie is not here. And then she's going to be gone for two weeks, right? And I was going to take uh, my new Bengal cap, uh, Koi, but uh, he's not cooperating. I think he needs his beauty sleep. He stay up all night and, and now he wanted his sleep. And so I'm going to talk about a uh, lot of people still sometimes PM me and about the disease. So I'm going to do the winter more, more in depth. And I'm actually what I did this morning is why I walked the nursery and I went to scope some of the, the plant I think have some uh, disease problem. And a lot of time, uh, the disease is actually can be preventative. And for example, uh, Jeff, I want you to see this. Can you see the water here? Okay, you know, we, the volume of the water that we, uh, the plant that we have, sometime, and this is such a perfect example. Uh, they got water yesterday over the weekend, and you know, the we do not have enough staff. Usually, if we have enough staff, that this should have gone to. You should never allow this to stay. The water to stay here. Uh, okay, so so but it's it's happened. So a lot of time, what I do with uh, this for this. Try not to stay at get any of your water stay there, especially the, the when you water them. When you have your private collection, uh, you do have uh, not as many print. Uh, this is the perfect example. I would since it got overnight, and I'm actually taking the print away from the bench, and use your Korak wax, uh, wax. And this is a good time to clean up all this mildew. A lot of your novelty phalaenopsis over the summer because the, they had the honey, honeydew, the honey sack from the flower and the spike. So the entire summer, this is a good time to kind of clean them up. And this fungi. The brackish color here is it doesn't kill the orchid. Not a, not all the fungi are bad or cause the disease. This is fungi that just uh, go after the honey. Uh, so the print like this. What I usually tell, try to tell my staff, uh, because of the pandemic, or we have actually uh, two staff. It's actually short this month. And so this is the perfect example that way I'm going to take it away from the bench because the way the print have a wrinkle that they had this scope here. This happened when the print, the leaf is developing. And some, the, instead of flat like this, that, that what they, they usually do, it might got too dry during the summer. So the, so they were kind of, that instead of going flat, they got they do not have enough water, so they kind of uh, shrink a little bit. Curl. The curl, so the, the this curl will cause this. So every time in water, if I put it on the flat, it's going to collect water. So it cause you will see this a lot on the novelty fan analysis, especially in the summertime. Okay, so this is a good target is to take it. And the tilt. It. Okay, so uh, either I can. Uh, I think this is this is a perfect example to. I have beautiful root system, and I would. This is a perfect example. I would prefer to have this one here. To be mounted, or put it in a basket, and or, or I can tilt it in a forty-five degree angle. So there's always water here. Uh, this is the. Bolina sururiae. Look at this. They have one, two, three, four, five spikes. So this is the maybe I should do a part in uh, mounted. You you can mount this even in the winter time, especially if you have the heat mat. Uh, I think Sunny had been we uh, using very successfully uh, with the heat mat. 
And so this is the example. Uh, try not to, this is the preventative. Try to not to have water collect either on the leaf or the crown. So a lot of time after the water, in, it, it's more the issue in the winter time because in the summertime we have so much air movement and the long is, uh, sun is draw, uh, longer. The sun doesn't set until the seven o'clock. But now it's in the winter time. It doesn't get us hot. The day doesn't get us long. So they don't dry out as, as often. So this is why I think in the winter time right now, uh, you, you're gonna have more, a lot of time you, you usually have more disease problem. And disease is indirectly caused by the water here, retained on the leaf. So try to get your leaf as dry as possible by evening, but, okay? And this is a tray. I'm happy to walk into a greenhouse today. Uh, and I want to give you, this is, the whole, this is exactly the same tray. This is a Gigantia hybrid. You notice that some of the older leaf is turning yellow. Okay. And this is why a lot of time when you send in question on um, our group, it's better to explain your situation uh, because we don't live with your orchid. And you uh, instead of say, what's wrong with this? So it's better to say, oh, okay, I go on the light or I go uh, in the greenhouse at home, your room temperature, yada, yada, yada. This is a perfect example of when I was awake last weekend at the a retreat at Oregon, and I was left, I think I left on Sunday, Friday, Thursday night. Uh, on on Wednesday, uh, one uh, the our plumber was coming here to check on all the greenhouse, uh, the the unit heater, make sure all the uh, combustion for the swamp, uh, for the unit heater is working well. So what happened usually they they would turn off the heater for testing and it just happened one of the greenhouse in number one guess what he forgot to turn it back on oh so God. friday saturday and sunday three days when i was away uh i think the weather i think the temperature went down to 48 degree at night from 60 degree minimum 60 to 48 so this is very drastic. A lot of orchid can take, I can take, uh, usually they can take a lot cool, I can, I have Bonina and Valencia in my career house down to 48, 45, no problem. But they were gradually, slowly, slowly, and they actually condition used to it. So this is a perfect example of when you have a, such a problem, go to a checklist, okay? So not every print, the, the standard white, Standard yellow, no problem, uh, because we we keep the print dry. But there are some print, for example, that Jacantia hybrid. This one here is a Jacant. Uh, see this one. This is Jacantia alba, cross with a yellow novelty. So it's not killing the print, but it's actually uh, the print is killing them. This is the physiology effect okay they turn in it's a shock for them and it's not going to kill the print obviously i'm not going to sell it and i'm also not going to do anything uh there are time if it really bothers you you can actually not use a knife but you can just peel off okay but but this is something that we want to flower them and see them i usually i, I think on my previous talk i usually just light them dry off naturally. That way they can have a seal detached. So there's no wound here. So now I have created a wound now. So a lot of time, and this is Jack and Tia, so I do, I'm very, I want to be extra caution about. Uh, I'm gonna to, if you had to make some cut, and there's a one here, and they're very close to the crown. So you can actually put some concentrated fison, just some drop 
on where I pull the print. So if you don't have to pull the print, don't do it. I know there are some time you have to go to orchid show and you cannot have yellow leaf because that make a difference between the blue and, and yellow ribbon. Okay, so always, this is why I always had the five cent solution and concentrated couple drop is not gonna kill the plant. It's actually make a, it's better than any of the, the cinnamon, cinnamon. And I do not like to use diluted solution to spray on them because diluted is too diluted, it's not strong enough. And you got extra water. It's actually gonna, gonna help create more problem here. So this uh, concentrated uh, five cent, we, we, we did it on the crown before, we did it, now you can do it on the side. It's just gonna snap a seal, okay? So these are all the same hybrid. So no, don't worry, this shock of coal is also gonna cost even have more flour. I uh, and a lot. These are about four years old, okay? And the, you're gonna see some discoloration from the coal because these are younger leaf, okay? So that is okay. So this is what happened in the winter time. If you, this time of the year, whether in your greenhouse, whether if you have wind, if you orchid by the windowsill, it's getting too much yellow. The senescent, too much senescent at one point. Senescent on the yellow, on the bottom leaves, one at a time is normal. But when you have a pair like this, this one here, at the same time, this is not normal. So if you are in the, in the windowsill, put it away from your window. Any of your novelty, especially Jacantia and Bodiensis, uh, Bolina, they like warm. Put away from the window. Window is getting very cold. And in the greenhouse, uh, I know the heating, it can be a problem this year in the East Coast. Many people are turning off their thermostat to be lower to say the propane gas. So do it gradually on your, you can actually, a lot of your fan can tolerate cooler temperature below 60. But remember you have to hold back on the water. It's better to leave it on the dry side. Or some people, you can simply just move your tropical. If you wanna turn your greenhouse to down to like 55 or 50, move all your tropical plant, like Phenonopsis, the Vanda, into your house, okay? This is time to maybe consider to set up an under light stand and grow your orchid under light. And because you are heating your house already, okay? Your house is minimum 60 degree. Whatever is comfortable for you is comfortable for them. So this is a, this is a perfect example of the shock because they go in, they went down, they're going from 60 degree minimum down to 45 overnight because it's not our temperature here, you know. So that, had, that is a shock. So this is actually a physiology effect on them. So what I'm going to do with this, now not to, the, you don't want to, you don't have to do anything. Do not water them, they're very moist. Okay, you can actually, um, the greenhouse back on, uh, uh, the greenhouse is I think back on, they're back to 60 degrees already. So I'm not gonna do any watering. So they are shocked and actually they are actually gonna reward you with, I can expect to see a lot, maybe two spike, one way the, the leaf fall off. Okay, so I'm gonna put this away. So be careful with your, uh, your novelty fan analysis and you know, I don't, I don't do, I can't get a benefit, but uh, do consider getting this kind of heat mat, under the heat mat, especially for the novelty. And, and ask questions, Sunny have a lot of experience with this. Uh, everything's available on Amazon, and there's a thermostat you can control, okay? So this is what caused this. So a lot of time, this is another perfect example. Oh my goodness. There are times when I say orchid can broom, broom themselves to death. Uh, this is a perfect example. Look at this. Okay, it's dry. Okay. But all the energy is on. Uh, they've been blooming for about two years. 
Okay, so I'm what I'm so this is a perfect example. Don't let your flower. If I don't I this is to save the plant. The plant is really stressed, it's not only dehydrated. Okay. Remember, remember what, what I said about when the, the moss is completely wet or dry, they're very hard to re-wet. So I'm going to, this is the only way to is, to wet them is how to soak in the water. But it's best to cut off the flower spike because right now all the energy is on the flower spike. They, all, they did not put up any new leaf over, over the winter. So this is another example that I am going to soak it but I'm going to soak it in the diluted uh, fixing solution okay, because the plant is stressed when the plant are is stressed their immune system is less so they are actually very vulnerable to any fungi attack especially in the winter time okay so Make up a, a, a one gallon solution and just a one gallon solution diluted, and you can actually just soak it. It's going to take a couple hours, and all the, the, the fire and solution that soak it up, you plant, you can actually submerge the whole plant. It's going to really disinfect the whole plant, it, it's going to clean out everything, and you can just resume what, what you do in the summertime and you need to put out new leaf okay and then put it in the warmest spot as possible okay and here's another one in the same greenhouse did not have a green uh, did not have a heat uh, for two or three days so here's another what I call freeze this is not caused by disease but rather the shock of the cold there is not disease infection. So this is more of the physiological, uh, physiology response to the, in, uh, the cold damage. So in this, uh, in this case, you do want to remove, and I don't want this, uh, in some, my, it's hard to do it. I, you do want to get a very sharp knife or razor blade and remove this. Because what happened later on, as they decayed it on the leaf, they might have mycelium or fungi uh, uh, form up. Okay, and then just make sure you throw this away and pinch out the leaf and check the moist. You can actually put your finger in it. They still have some moisture, so the best time to just leave it on the dry side. Okay, and to be on the safe side, I'm worried about this here. You see here this yellow edge, but I don't want to. Uh, I do not want to uh, tear them away. So, you put a couple drops of the concentrated. This will on, not only on phalaenopsis, but also on the catalea. Couple more drop. So that's going to go inside. The crown. And then put it aside. Remember what I what we show you before. And Jeff, I'm gonna show this again. Okay. I'm gonna set it aside. What about I? What about the crown rod? The next one will be a crown rod. This is the perfect example of crown rod. Jeff, you can see this. This is the case. Cut it a little bit too late. Water staying here. Jeff, can you see? Can you see it? The water stay here and they are getting some infection. So this is the, this is a typical seeding. Uh, I usually don't save them. We just uh, have to discard it with a trash can. But I'm gonna, I'm gonna use this as an example. Uh, make sure you wipe your hand between the print. Uh, don't worry, it doesn't hurt them. You are doing this they are actually this or if you don't remove it there's going to be more and then the growing tip is still good Jeff I don't know if you can see the growing tip here 
This is a very good situation. This is good. You see in here, the 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 growing tip of upper comparison is so green, but you still have some slight shoot here. I'm going to remove some of the, the bottom leaf. Okay. This have more than seventy percent. It's going to survive because it has a very beautiful root system. Okay. And I'm go also going to cut out. There is a spike there. I'm going to cut out the flower spike. Uh, the flower spike is going to take out even more energy. So I'm going to cut out the flower spike. Again. Concentrate it into the crown. And you can do this for the for how, for when you whenever you have a crown rot, okay? So this is a perfect example of what we did in the summertime. This was even worse. It did not have even have any foliage at all. But I, I told you that once you have a good root, see the root is still alive. So there's a potential. So we, what we did before, we put a concentrated uh, fison solution. And we, what we did before also, Huh? There's toothpicks at the side. Um, no, on the other side. Okay. Oh, yeah. Remember this one here? Uh, this is my two in one cakey paste. You always need one. Okay. So, at, assuming we have this is dry out uh, after a couple hours. Put a concentrated cakey paste into the crown. So this actually serves as the way. The, the, this is the, the two in one cakey paste. I did it. Uh, is this is actually from the kinetin. Kinetin is an organic set of kinetin from the corn and oxen. So I use the, this is why the, my, my tool in one is work and like um, fantastic because this is we're not using the very synthetic plant hormone. This all and so I throw this away because it's okay. So then once you have a crown rotted plant, do not you don't have to water them. In fact, Jeff water this whenever he see necessary. So this is actually worse than this. So it now have a cakey and I saved the plant. And this particular one is a beautiful summer rose. It's a marriage stem. So it's the one over the summer. This is a cakey and I'm still waiting for now. That's the original one that we started. Yes. So this will, will be this in about three to four months, and I'm still waiting. I'm going to repot them next spring when it's when it's get bigger. Okay. And this here's one we did have crown rot before. Okay. And now that's the last one that you did. That's the last the one we did. Six or eight weeks ago. Yeah. So, but I see some problem here this is the latent contamination of the fungi so I had no choice now the reason I did not cut this off earlier because if you know if, if, if the print is the leaves are okay try to leave save the leaf because they, the leaf can do photosynthesis but I see uh, if I now is the time to I have to surgically separate the leaf now because they have, they look like this is a disease. They start a fungi. Okay, uh, it, it haven't break yet, so I suspect it's a fungi. Uh, if it's a bacterial, it will be really fast, and the bacteria has an order. So now I'm gonna separate this. Always frame your tool. I love this. Always good to uh, wash out all the. 
if you work, I used to work in the teacher culture laboratory. So we, it's, it's, a good, it's always a habit to spread our hand. Otherwise, when we do the aseptic culture, it got, it got contamination. Okay. And again, so this is kind of follow up what we did before. The, uh, I'm gonna put again on the concentrated fison. Okay, and then let it dry. Okay, and maybe tomorrow, or what, uh, once your air dry, there's no more uh, fison in there. When you do the cakey paste, you're not only gonna put some on the crown, you also can put some inside this accessory. There are some accessory, but inside. So they're actually gonna give you maybe possible a rosé two or three from the side here, if you do the two in one cakey paste in here. Okay, and when they, whenever you are doing your uh, mega dry, make sure you also spray your mega dry on the leaf. If you don't have the mega dry, if you don't have a leaf in a case like this, you can save some of your mega dry diluted solution and actually water in also because remember the root is still alive and the root can pick up the mega dry there. Okay, all right, so this is what you do with the crown rock and we're gonna follow up on this one here and we always put this on the side and even the lady zipper okay here's one we haven't seen we haven't actually do anything to this one for about a month i'm gonna get a new toothbrush toothpaste and my you always do the always new one new toothpaste for any print you got a new cakey here I'm going to do more of the cakey paste on the side because I want to encourage more new root to come out. Okay? And it will not hurt. It will not hurt. And cakey paste is actually uh, majority of, of the petroleum. So they're going to stick there. And because they are, they are not synthetic, they are natural hormone. So they're going to actually go th absorb through the, the leaf. And this is the, I'm gonna cut this off now. Okay, so Jeff, if I'm gonna focus on this one here, this is the original crown. Can you see this? This is the original crown of the Paphiopedia Meloponensis. So, the crown rod did not go all the way inside to the root because we stop it with concentrated fison solution. And later on, we also did the cakey paste in the center. And that's how we resolve with this. And now, not only with the cakey paste, not only I have a one new one coming up, I just noticed that there's another one coming up. Two. Okay, that's a good sign. And I apply the cakey paste again today because I want to encourage to have a root coming down. And with a new root, uh, this will be developed into a two new rosé of plant. So, so don't be afraid of the, if a plant uh, have crown rot. Uh, even plant in the, in the wild, they do have this, that, that happen to them. And they, a lot of time they, they come back. So they do have a lot of immune system. And this is why I don't spray a lot of fungicide in my nursery. Uh, hardcore fungicide because the, a lot of time the more you most of fungicide now this day it just suppress and I want the plant to develop their own immune system and we had to spray f pesticide because you know because plant cannot fight off the pest like we can you know we have arm we have legs we can kick them but plant cannot but they do have a, a, a immune system they can just like us we have we can uh, we have immune system we can fight off some of the the, the flu virus and, and so on so here's another one we're going to put here and set them aside how are we doing so far okay here's another example okay
I just saw this. And don't worry, this is from the new leaf, and this is also from the new green, the greenhouse that have that the heater did not work. So don't panic. I think it's, it's this is the time for some in you know you can pre, you can pray surgeon in this time. So this is the infect you want to cut at least two inches about the last infection area. You had to cut you had to cut this out. If you don't cut it off, you're gonna cut all the way down. And luckily this is fungi. It's not bacterial. It's a bacterial in the summer in the winter time there's not much bacterial problem because bacteria thrive on the hot and humid weather. Warm day, warm night. Right now, your bacterial problem should decrease. But now you are facing another cold fungi, uh, uh, physerian, uh, not, not physerian, the uh, uh, pseudomonas, for example. And But they are slower, so you have more time to react. And I'm going to... This is the new leaf. I'm just going to cut, cut it off right here. See here? I like to cut in, in an angle, very similar to the, the new growth. And other than that, yellow leaf, that's what problem. It's part of the synthesis. Okay, I'm going to leave it alone. Okay, and then if you, if you want, you can also have a, a tube uh, a brush, uh, Q-tips. Pour some of the concentrated uh, fire sand, and then also seal th this area here. Here's another one. What's wrong with this? This is the, this is the banana hybrid, uh, but this is the one of those twin. Okay, so this is a, another case. Is actually a uh, coal. Okay, this is the not okay. Uh, Nice root that should not have by right this. So this is a cold damage. I'm gonna break this off. Okay. Because I'm gonna and then put a couple concentrated. I think where I break it. Okay. Beautiful root. Do it in, and they are getting too much sun. Okay, they are they are bright they, with the greenhouse. They're very hot. They're very bright, and because I do not have bottom heating, uh, I do not have under light. So the, right now the greenhouse is only about eight. Uh, the sunset at four o'clock. They don't get twelve hours. So the plant itself go, is not going to their vegetative stage. So they actually, unless you have under light, you, they go all year round, go hour. But now. Uh, I'm gonna give in the rest. So I'm gonna the plant the banana like this in the winter time for me in the greenhouse. I usually you should actually give them less light. So they are actually getting too much light. They're okay. But the 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 old the younger leaf or maybe okay, but the older leaf, they're not used to it. So they, this is why you see this yellowish. There's not disease. It's just the physiology or response. To tell me, hey, I don't like it. I'm getting too much sun. Back off. Okay, so I'm gonna I'm gonna move this to the other side, the north side of the greenhouse, and then the south side of the greenhouse is when I start putting this kind of standard fan analysis because this the, your your standard fan analysis should be spiking, so they are gonna be flower. So you can get in the, your better real estate of your, your window or your growing space for them. The novelty, unless you go in under light, if you are uh, just a windowsill or greenhouses, sh get in shadier, get in uh, shadier space. Okay, and here's another example of the, remember what I mentioned to you about Miltonopsis? not to repot Miltonopsis in the summertime because in the Miltonopsis in the summertime, they go dormant. So it's really hot today. 
and now is the weather is cool off now they are thriving in fact look at this okay but i still think i haven't seen any root here yet so i'm not going to i'm not going to divide them but what i'm I, what you should do the plant like this in the winter time because on sitting alliances like this they tend to collect water here so before you got to have a chance to repot this is the time to really clean up make sure you take up all this suitable or this sheet here out you see here Jeff, Jeff? see this here you see the all sheet here oh my god look at all the black spot those are all fungi mycelium okay and if I don't take it out and it's a fungi it's a situation right you have any infection the US next uh, fingernail have a cut they right go right in so and a lot of time if you keep on the scheduling of five cent a teaspoon per gallon of water it's actually will cut down on this fungi but this is a good housekeeping to get all this brown one because I, I'm gonna wait because the shoe I haven't seen any root yet but I'm gonna have the cakey paste to help with the rooting. So, if you consider a line, this is the same logic as your catalia or even dendrobium, also. Okay, so I'm I'm gonna expose to the the base. Since I cut off all, any of your shoot here, you can use Q-tips or toothpaste. I'm gonna use this eye as example. Put it in the base, and that is gonna help you to spread out a lot of root coming up. And once you have to see the root coming up, and I'm gonna leave this one here, and maybe about a month, I'm gonna use this example of how to repot because this all metonopsis this is gonna be flower for you in the springtime, about April or May. So I'm gonna use this about how to repot them. Okay, so remember what I told you the summer metonopsis in the summertime never repot them because after the flower finish in May in the springtime they go dormant it was hot they want to take a union break but now the weather's cool off very similar to their species native country in Colombia they kind of wake up because it's cooler for them so this is why you get in all oh, this beautiful beautiful plant so I'm gonna leave this one here and we're gonna revisit this plant and Jeff you gonna remind me we're gonna do this uh, on the repotting of these Oncidium alliances and sometimes even Cataria. Okay, there are some you can repot it, you can do this for the spring. Okay, so what month are we gonna do that? January? We're gonna do that in, uh, we're gonna do that in uh, probably about the end of uh, the, the third week. Yeah, the end of, yeah. I'm gonna see how 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 the root come in. I'm gonna use I'm gonna use this as example. It's all based on what how how this plant doing. Okay. Okay. And this is another example. I, I you know it's kind of fun to watch the greenhouse. Uh, again, need to be repotted, but I don't want to repot it right now because well for my for this for example, right now it's it's winter time and this is not a novelty this is actually a standard fan analysis and even though they really need to be repot but it's okay that the moss is not decaying uh they should be spiking pretty soon from here okay so i don't want to repot them but i do want to do something about from this is not a z guess what it's from sunburn <laughs> okay so this is the case uh of the sunburn but you do need to remove them because what happened with this after sunburn this tissue is drying up and they're going to decompose when they are decomposed they're going to invite 
you gotta have fungi to decompose. That fungi is part of decomposition. So you, then you're gonna have disease problem. So it's best this is the time. Okay. I should. You see? I make a small cut. It's not going to be that pretty, but at least you save the plant. And if you have Q-tips, make a Q-tip using some of the concentrated and seal it, or simply leave it dry. Uh, right now, in my condition, in the greenhouse condition, is less than fifty percent. It's not. If you are in Florida, it's very really high. If you your area is very very high humidity more than 55%, then I do recommend to seal them with concentrated fixin. Right now, I'm, we have 80 degree outside. It's really dry here. So I'm, you can either you seal them, or I can just use it as a perfect example to show you. I'm just letting them air dry them. So I'm gonna take my chains, but I don't know my chains is good. They're not gonna have infection, okay. Okay, I think I covered a lot of stuff. So, prevention. Uh, keep your warm grower, know your plant. If you're a warm grower, make sure your greenhouse, or if you go in a house, if they get too close to the window, it's okay in the summertime, maybe this is the time to move away from it. Because the way the window is, it's really cold. And uh, uh, put it under the light, if you have a shelf on that, uh, if you do have to turn on your greenhouse low temperature tonight, uh, this winter because the, the propane is almost double, uh, group all your tropical, you know, they can, then you, they can, you can actually train your plant uh, to could be lower, but just remember this, do not water. Keep it as dry as possible. With the temperature went down, the plant don't, is not going to be active, so they're going to slow down. You don't need, they don't need that much water anymore. But they can also, you can also just foliage your feeding, just wet the foliage only. And they're still keeping the, the polymedia uh, uh, wet. And if you're in a greenhouse, only water when the sun is up. If the sun is not up, I skip it because it's going to be cool and moist so it's, it's going to do more plant more damage on watering on the cloudy day okay but if you under the light i think that's the you had the best way you know they're going year round yes jeff you okay jeff okay good and air movement make sure it, a lot of plenty of air movement in my greenhouse we have air movement i we kind of shut it off right now because of the podcast we had we, we had air movement 24 hours Especially at night, it keep in. We can see the fan running. Back. Yeah, you can see the fan running. Yeah, okay. That way, we uh, with the sun, with the weather like this, uh, they 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 should be uh, but always before the evening. Even if you go under the light, make sure you always tilt the leaf. Make sure that if the leaf have collect some water there, that that my first example. Drain it up, clean it up. Okay. Uh, keep up please do please do keep up with your minimum of one teaspoon per gallon of five cent during this time of the year uh you be you don't want to cut off garden okay uh right now there's even though we don't have bacteria uh like what we have in the, in the summertime but fungi is going to have a field day remember that's why we get so much mushroom outside the field outside your tree fungi love the cool and moist. So is botrytis, okay? So this is why you start cleaning all your uh, dead leaf, okay? And anything that de will cause decomposition, they'll have fungi in prison. And sanitation, you know, I, I try to give a, a process between each plant, I try to clean my leaf because very easy when, as I'm removing some of the old leaf, this is some of the fungi there. It's probably on my, on my hand. And this is a lot of time, that's how we transmit uh, pest and disease, especially pests. You know, a lot of the time people will say, 
I don't have I don't have mini bar. How can I have mini bar this year? Well, guess what? Mini bar, not just mini bar this year. Uh, the weather is so extreme this year. When we walk outside, our our pan, our shoe will pick up something head tracking from something from outside. And if you uh, have, for example, have a lot of high basket in the landscape, high basket, a lot of print, you host of the mini bar. So then this is why a lot of time uh, we do not use a lot of house plant in the greenhouse, which uh, is trying to be mono crop. Uh, because I seen people, I seen greenhouse <laughs> even put on the, under the bench, ground cover, have some kind of vine, ivy. And I said, oh my God, because you never able to clean up what's below the bench. And whatever go down there, I will go on top of it, and you that under the bench is where is a host of a lot of problem coming up. Okay, so you don't want to live in the situation that that you know your your floor have all kind of dead leaf and and so on. So so that is it. Uh, follow my instruction. The feeding is also very important. A strong, a good feeding will have will have your more stronger to fight off some of the fungi infection okay uh, fungi is everywhere but they they do have their own immune system to fight them back Jeff can you can you show me that the path uh, banana okay I'm gonna show Jeff yeah 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 if I tell you none of our banana like this we don't spray fungicide no fungicide just well now, no hardcore fungus is just five cents as a preventative. You can do it, okay? This is sometimes may not be all this, a little bit yellowish. This is from the sun, the heat stress. That's okay. Uh, uh, I don't always, that's why the, the if you buy the organic apple, the organic apple not going to have the perfect uh, shape. And, uh, and the plant is going to reward you. We're stronger, and this is why sometimes uh, the banana. I think we have customers that have five spike. Uh, Sunny have the Princess Mikasa with six, nine spike, and constantly because they they they're not suppressed by the fungicide to tell them to do the other way. They are free. They are very free spirit. Okay, and so this will conclude today's uh, talk. And next week I'm gonna do the. Um, we're going to do the pest. Yes, there are some pests that we had a concern for the winter time. And so, any question before I move on to? No, but Jamie wanted us to mention that we're gonna do the not so secret, secret Santa starting December 1st. She's gonna start pairing up people drawing names. So if you haven't signed up and you wanna be part of the not so secret, secret so Santa, secret. Uh, please review Corey's post. It's up an announcement. If everybody who wants to sign up can sign up here in the next few days, Jamie's going to start pairing up people. Great. Wow. Okay. Hi, right, Jamie. How's, you, how's your Utah? Nice and warm. I think they're running around in sandals and bathing suits. <laughs> Utah? I thought it's cold over there. Okay. So, uh, uh, one, well, uh, one thing I want to uh, m m uh, message across, uh, if you are, they are running out of a lot of supply because of COVID, okay, if you are having, if you think about, oh, I'm going to order my mask next spring, no, order now. We still have good supply of masks and uh, there are shortage of masks already in Asia. They cannot get any new masks from Chile because whatever the inventory they have was, that we have even here, is from pre, from 2018, 2019, because of COVID, 2020, they did not go to harvest the Spanish moss, which is the best quality moss. And so this is shortage right now. So uh, they're not gonna see any good supply of the moss until 2024. So if you are thinking about the supply, oh, I'm gonna do it in the spring, uh, do it now because I just put in my order for 2024. And even though I have some 10 kilograms, uh, customer, I have, I have some friend in Miami, 
they want me to sell to them. I said, what's wrong? They don't even have moss in Miami anymore, the big one. Okay, so get your moss in right now because uh, it's not funny. It's, you don't want to cut your hand. That once we, once I show, uh, sell off my little package, I think I have five milligram, 500 milligram, one kilogram, and up to three kilograms. I cannot get it until 2024. Okay, so don't get your cut shorter. Buy extra on the, 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 the 